everyone, welcome again to the Watchtower, and today I thought it would be a really cool idea to give a countdown of my 10 favorite DC collectibles slash DC Direct pieces uh, in honor of them going out of business this year. So we're going to do that right after this. Welcome back everyone, and like I was saying before the intro, today I want to give a look back at uh, DC Collectibles slash DC Direct, and um, kind of want to show some of my 10 favorite pieces from them. These are 10 pieces that I own, there are some other pieces, some other nice pieces of theirs that I never got a chance to pick up, so these are just going to be focusing on the t or t or 10 of my top 10 pieces that I own. Start at number 10, which is my least favorite, and then we're going to work our way up to number 1. Number 10 is the Mira Covergirl statue. This is a really nice little piece. Um, it's one of... It's either, I believe it's one of, the fir it's one of the first Covergirl pieces I got. Really nice little piece. I like this a lot. Pretty face, based on uh, Stanley Art Germ Wow's uh, artwork and stuff. So just a really, really nice piece. Uh, that's number 10. Number 9 is the Designer Series Nightwing statue. Again, really, really nice piece. Great detail, great sculpt, great paint on it. Um, I would rank it higher. There's just uh, two things that have a little bit of an issue with on it. The spinning and screamer sticks are a little uh, off center, and it's, you know, kind of a kind of a generic pose. So those are the two little things that brought it down for me, but just a really nice piece overall. Um, it's hard to get Nightwing pieces for some reason, so that's a nice little space in my collection for my Nightwing collection. Number eight is the Designer Series Red Hood statue. Again, another really, really nice piece. I love the design on this. I love the sculpt of the paint, the chrome on the helmet. It looks really, really cool. Such a unique design with him leaping in the air. Got the guns on either side of him holding out. Just really, really cool design there. Um, this would be higher for me because I like this whole thing. The only thing that bumps it down is that there is a metal rod, you know, sticking out of his ass. So, uh, nothing you can do about it because to show that moment, that, the, you know, that pose and everything, the dynamic of him leaping, you have to have a rod somewhere. But, yeah, that, that, you know, that does hurt it a little bit for me. Number seven is the Rorschach statue from the Before Watchmen comic book series that they did several years ago and they released statues of each character. Rorschach is the only one of any of the Watchmen characters that I have because I just really like Rorschach. And I got it when I was very early into collecting, so it really doesn't go with anything else in my line. So it kind of sits off by itself, but I really, really like that statue. It's really cool. It does have a little bit of a leaning issue, but it's, it's a really nice piece. Number six is the Bombshell Black Canary statue. I have loved the, the Bombshell line from its inception. Just everything about it. I love the, the, the pinup design and just this, this retro uh, art style from like the 40s and 50s. Bringing those in a statue form. Such a cool design. I like a lot of those pieces in there, but just the one that really just pops for me that I like the most is the Black Canary one, with her just kind of like being like the songbird and got the microphone and everything. She looks really sexy, really pretty, just just really nice piece, and I think it just really encapsulates that entire line and shows like what that line is all about. Just really, really nice piece for that. Number five is the Designer Series Flash statue. Again, these I just love the Designer Series statues in general that they do. They pick out a specific artist, specific take on a character, and the Flash is no exception. This is a really nice Flash statue. And it did sell very well. I think you can get them for like 60 bucks on right now on Amazon. And it's been out for several years. They're really cheap, but just a nice little statue of the Flash. It's hard to get Flash pieces as well in smaller scale, so this is just a nice little piece for that. Really nice design. You know, really conveys motion. It's nice sculpt, nice paint. Really, really nice statue. My number four statue is the Cover Girls Catwoman statue designed by Joelle Jones. Again, I mean, I love Catwoman. Love, 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 love Catwoman. And this is a fantastic piece with her sitting there on top of the safe. Just really dynamic. Such, such, a, such a pretty face on it. Sculpted, painted. 
The whole thing looks really nice. It's such a unique little design with her sitting on top of the safe that she just cracked. Really cool. And it's the only it's the only Joelle Jones piece that I got of her line. So just really, really cool. Number three is the Jock Batman black and white statue. As many of you know, if you, if you watch my channel at all, that I love the black and white line. I have quite a few of them. But the one that I love the most is this awesome is the jock design Batman statue so so cool with him you know leaping out uh, got the got the hook got the uh, grapple line around his hands and everything leaping out from from his cover design for an issue of Batman such a cool piece you know again another one that you know has a has a rod sticking out of his belly button so hurts a little bit but it's such a dynamic piece and everything, it's such a presence that it's so well done. My number two most liked statue from DC Direct is the Dark Knight's Metal Designer Series Batman statue. This is a piece when I got in, I could not I just kept looking at it for the for the size of it, you know, only being like twelve inches tall or whatever, to have all the detail and the, the paint and just so well nice, just so clean. The sculpt is amazing on it. Just a really, 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 really nice piece. Just absolutely. I think it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a sleeper hit. I think a lot of people don't realize how nice of a piece it is. Once you get in and you look at it, it is just a phenomenal statue all the way around. And that brings us to our my favorite DC collectibles statue, and that is the Batman vs. Killer Croc diorama st statue. This is the only diorama I have. And it's just, and it's one of the first pieces I got that was like over, that was like over $200. And that seems like, well I spend all stuff now, that seems like ages ago. But just such a really, really cool piece. You know, compared to the day scanner stuff, you know, it's not got, you know, there's some paint issues with it and everything. You know, it doesn't have as much detail as a lot of stuff is being done today. But for a statue that's, you know, 10 years old, it has such a presence and it's so cool and it really tells a story. And at the time it was the biggest piece that I owned. At like 16 inches tall, it was so, so cool. And it's still so, so cool. So that's just my number one DC Direct slash DC Collectibles piece. I love that piece so, so much. But guys, let me know in the comments, you know, what what pieces you like. You know, what are your favorite DC, uh, DC Direct pieces? This is, you know... I love to hear from you guys. I love to know what you guys think are your favorite pieces. And this is, you know, having not having DC Director anymore is really going to hurt a lot of us who looked forward to uh, well done statues at an affordable price rate, and they're not going to be there anymore. So that's it's just a killer. And you know, DC Direct they will be missed, but you know, life goes on. There's it just goes on. Just another reason why this year sucks. So anyway guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you the next time that I log in for a minor duty up here in the Watchtower.